was just about to start heading on the highway and a train comes by. This is where it begins. I am going to go to Chicago for the Nintendo Switch event. I'm going to work, and then I'm driving to Chicago after that, which is insane. Uh, I think it's gonna be fun. Also, I'm sleeping in my car. This is day one of the Nintendo Switch event vlog. Let's see where it takes us. So yeah, I looked online, and I saw that this um, this event was happening, and I was like, oh, you know, that looks like a really cool event. I really wanna go to it. But I was like, why, why can't I just drive there and go to it? <laughs> why not? Stop asking what if and ask why not. <laughs> That's the advice I have for today. There's just so many cool things all around the world, and if you just don't go to look at them, you're never gonna go to look at them, you know? But yeah, there's something about just camping in your car and sleeping in your car that I find just so interesting. It just sounds like it's gonna be a lot of fun, and I'm excited about it. It'll be an adventure, so we'll see what happens. off work now. I am pumped, ready to go. We got some snacks here. I've never done anything this crazy before. I'm literally going to Chicago by myself. I'm driving all the way there at 8 o'clock p.m. or 7 o'clock p.m. I'm gonna get there in 10 hours. I may have to stop somewhere to sleep on the way, but I'm sleeping in my car, so it doesn't really matter. My car is my hotel during this trip, and it's a great way to save money, but it's just weird. I've never done anything like it before. This is what we're going to. Do not arrive earlier than 7 a.m. That is a funny thing to say, because as soon as I get there today, what is today? Today is Friday. It'll be Saturday by the time I get there. It's early Saturday morning. The second I get there, I'm going to go to this place and I'm going to see if there's already a line there. If there is, I'm going to get in line. If not, then I'll sleep. I'll have the whole day Saturday to explore Chicago. I'm going to go back Saturday night and if there's a line starting, I'll get in line. If not, I'll go to sleep. Come back early, early Sunday morning and be ready to go to play the Switch. I'm really excited. The thing is with this, I'm actually not guaranteed to get in. It's very limited, so I have to make sure that I get in line on time. Time, basically. I have to be there. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do this. Well, you know what? It's actually not going to be that bad of a drive. It's seven hours and 59 minutes, so eight hours. Here is the trip that I'm going to be taking, the route. This is the journey to touch the Nintendo Switch first. Not really first because other people have, but it's to be one of the first people to play the Nintendo Switch. This is the journey for that. This is what I have to do to do that. I think it's totally worth it. Let's begin the journey. Let's start it off. <laughs> and had to zoom in so much. It's gonna take a long time, so this is gonna be a trip, let me freaking tell you. I was just about to start heading on the highway and a train comes by. In 400 feet, turn right onto Mission Road. So I got some monster here to fuel me because it's freaking nighttime and I got some dinner. I'm gonna get some coffee later this morning. Once this starts to wear off, I'll see you on the road. So I'm somewhere in Missouri right now, I think. Okay, Google, what state am I in? I'm at a Loves. I loves this place. So I got some gas. I'm gonna go and use the restroom. We've got about five hours left, which is just crazy. I'll be back. Somewhere in Illinois right now. I've been driving for like five hours now. I stopped to get some McDonald's because I'm hungry as hell and I need some energy. So hopefully McDonald's will give it to me. I just went to this gas station over on yonder and it was pretty cool inside. It's a pretty nice gas station. But I went to go use the toilet and there was poop all over the seat. <laughs> all right, let's hit the road. All right, you guys, it's like 5 a.m., but I'm in Chicago. I am here. This place that I'm at, this building, is supposedly where the event is taking place. It smells really good right here. Has me a little worried, but you know what? I don't really care. I'll do anything for the Nintendo Switch. I think it's in here. No freaking way. There's no one here. That's great news because it's five in the morning and it means I can actually go to sleep and not have to wait in line all day. We have come so far for this and I think I might actually be able to get into this event. This is insane. There's nobody freaking here. Look at this. Come on, focus. <laughs> Private event entrance. 
this is where it is. This is it. That's great news, because I know where it is now. It's in what seems like a really sketchy part of town. I'm gonna come back here tomorrow, during the day sometime, and see if there's a line gathering at all. And if there is, I'll just have to stay here. If not, I'll come back at like 5 a.m. early Sunday morning, maybe even 4 or something. I'll just go to sleep early tomorrow, or maybe just not get any sleep, and be ready to jump in line. That's gonna be my plan. Now they have, they have fencing here, if it would focus. Yeah, I'm guessing there's been lines, but it's been a private event entrance. However, what I did see through one of these curtains looked like it might have been something to do with a Nintendo Switch. I need to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna get the hell out of this area and go to the suburbs, find a Walmart, go to the bathroom and do all that stuff and go to sleep. And then wake up, come back here, see if there's a line. If not, we're gonna explore the Chicago city for a day. We're gonna go up into the tower if we're able to, the giant one, whatever it's called, Sears. I thought Sears went bankrupt, but well, I don't even know. Nintendo event with Barb wire. What a great place for a Nintendo event. Well, as long as it's a good event, you know what? It doesn't matter where it is, because I don't judge. My parents do, and <laughs> they're gonna freak out that I'm here, but that's okay. This is life. You gotta do it. I'm gonna touch the Nintendo Switch before they will. <laughs> so, you know, that's what it's all about. Let's get the hell out of here. I don't even know where the suburbs are, but we'll find it on somewhere. I'll use the internet. We'll get going. So yeah, see you at Walmart. All right, you guys, I found a Walmart that is actually kind of freaking nice. Look how humongous this parking lot is. There's a truck right there that is gonna help shield me from everyone. This is where I'm gonna sleep. Now, this place opens at 6 a.m. It's 5.35 right now, and don't worry, my time is the same time as Chicago. I'm in Kansas City. Well, I'm in Chicago right now, but I'm from Kansas City. We have the same time, even though it's 10 hours away. I have to go to the bathroom really bad, so I'm just gonna wait the 30 minutes, go to the bathroom when it opens, and then come back and go to sleep. But I'm gonna drive myself up there to go to the bathroom, then drive back as to not cause a scene. Or I wonder if I should just walk. I don't know. We will find out. We will find out. Holy switch. I am so excited for this event. You have no idea. I'm gonna be checking out to see if there's a line like every freaking five hours. The second there's people waiting in line, I'm gonna be there because I have to go to this event. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. We'll see what happens. All right, you guys, we've run into a bit of a problem. It is like sunny out, beautiful. But guess what? I still haven't gone to bed yet because I can't sleep. So I'm gonna have to set up camp a little bit different than I did. We've got this covering the windshield. I might have to put up blankets on the sides so that it's dark enough for me to actually sleep. But I'm worried that would draw more attention to me. You know what? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Let's do it. All right, you guys, so I've got my little camp set up here. I've got blankets on the windows, and it's blocking the light. The back window's open, though. Whatever. Don't really care too much about it, but this is it. I'm actually gonna be able to go to sleep, and it's not even that warm, so I don't even have to worry about, like, a sleeping bag or anything like that, so... <laughs> interruption in the video but you should check out my sponsor for today which is my patreon it's free if you pay for it first look guys you don't need me to tell you all right but I don't know I don't know if you know this but I'm I'm homeless I'm homeless all right I live at Walmart I'm at Walmart right now so if you want to help out on the, the patreon that'd be awesome I'm just kidding I do it by choice but hey Every little bit of support helps fund my adventures, fund my journeys, and everything allows me to afford equipment such as this giant ass battery that weighs 130 pounds that I need to power all my equipment and the solar panels that I use to charge this up. It all helps with all that stuff. So if you are interested in supporting the channel, please go check out my Patreon. There's a link in the description down below. Hey, there's a one or two patrons right now. I think there's two, maybe? And they're on your screen right now. So thank you to those people. Amazing. Thank you so much. Really, I, not, none of it would be possible without your help. So thank you. I do appreciate it. If you'd like to join them, links in the description down below. Every little bit helps so much. Thank you guys. I love you all. Also, my social media is in the description down below. Instagram and Twitter. Please go follow both of those. Thank you so much. Goodbye.